let me say a word in defense of reason in dialogue with faith. Because faith is that proof. Faith unites us to that substance. But reason, in order to realize its full potential, needs the horizons revealed by and truths contained in the faith. And not just any faith, but the Catholic faith. Jesus answered, You're right in saying I'm a king. In fact, for this reason I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. What is truth? Pilate asked. I don't really think he was asking honestly. I don't think he was looking for an answer. I think he was asking rhetorically, kind of making a point. What is truth? You think you have the corner of the market on truth? You know the truth? Hmm? Come on, guys, you have your truth. I have my truth. Don't impose your morality on somebody else. Don't try to legislate your truth. I mean, Jesus, that's true for you. But Vishnu is God for someone else. We each make up our own truth, right? No. What is truth? Or the dictionary would define truth as a thought or statement that conforms to reality. That conforms to something outside of us. If it conforms to that, then it's true. Relativism, the philosophy underlying all those kinds of statements I just brought up, and that whole, what is truth anyway, kind of thing, pilot. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. That's what I would have said if I was Jesus, which is why I'm not the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what is truth anyway? Zap eyes. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, the philosophy that underlies all those all those challenges to truth is called relativism. All right. While truth is, is a thought or statement that conforms to reality, relativism is the philosophy that there is no reality outside of us to conform to, but that truth is relative to what each person believes. That you can make up your own truth, I can make up my own truth. Now, no one's really a relativist unless they have some serious, serious problems when it comes to things that are scientifically verifiable. Things like math and science. No one's going to say, well, 2 plus 2 is 4 for you, but it's 5 for me. <laughs> Don't impose your 4 in my 5. <laughs> so intolerant. All right, no one's going to say that. All right? uh, but when it comes to everything that's not scientifically verifiable, everything else, the stuff of faith, the stuff of morals, the stuff of philosophy. That's all relegated to stuff we can't really know. Stuff that's not outside of us, but stuff we all make up for ourselves. It's relative to what you believe, relative to what I believe. So that when people say things like Jesus is God for you, Vishnu is God for someone else, they don't mean what you think Jesus is God, he thinks Vishnu is God. What they mean, usually in a relativist society, is literally, he's God for you. And someone else is God for someone else. Why? Because you each have the power, of course, to make up your own spiritual and moral universe, right?